Good afternoon everybody, how are we doing? I hope you've had a good day today. We are here back again and we're going to be doing the ox reading this afternoon. So all of you lovely ox people out there, this one is for you and uh, we're going to see what these cards have got for you. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because we do cards every single day for every Chinese zodiac um, or every personality, two of you every day. Today is the rat and the ox, tomorrow will be the tiger and the rabbit. Um, so on and so forth throughout the week up until Saturday. Um, so, what has been going on for our lovely ox people this week? Let's have a little look. So we're going to close these eyes. Let's get this shuffle on. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. We're just going to take three cards. One from the bottom, one from the top, one from the middle. Um, and we'll see what your, week, uh, what your weekly prediction is going to be like. Let's see. I can't see what I'm doing because I've got my eyes closed. Right, let's leave it there. Oh, I don't know. Let's... Right. I just don't feel it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I think... There we go, right. Bottom, middle, top. What have we got? Oh, that's not so bad. Black, white, white. So that's not so bad at all because you've got your black card there, which has been a hard week for you, but things are looking up. I mean, last week could have been better. You had that uh, that snake card there. So a bit of negative karma coming your way by the looks of things. You had a little bit of negative karma. You, you've been through a little bit of, um, a bit of, I'd say, like turmoil, if you like, a little bit of uh, sort of, I don't know, unwarranted confusion. However, the snake and the ox are incredibly um, compatible. You're both in the same affinity triangle. Um, and it's all about long-term stuff with uh, snakes and oxes and that triangle. I mean, you're thinking about the long-term. You're thinking about the future. You're starting to think about what you believe in and what you don't believe in. You're thinking about where you need to invest. You're thinking about where my effort should be. You're thinking about where you should uh, put your time, where you should put your energy you are looking at opportunities and those opportunities are opportunities to grow and you are holding on to that. You are holding on to that, you know? This is like a time for you to start using that strategic mind, you know? It's going to take hard work. You're fully aware of that, but you're looking at the benefits. You're looking at the, you're considering the benefits. You're considering the benefits or the lack thereof. You're really thinking about you're really thinking about what's coming forward now and where you're moving forward and if it's worth it or not. Right now, you may feel a little bit stuck, but it's not stuck to an ox. You're not stuck. You may be standing still. You may, you're standing still. You're not stuck because you stand still willingly because you're taking your time. You're taking caution. You know that there are things to be done. You know that there's things that you want to get sort of ready for the future. But you're not rushing into it. Maybe things are questionable right now. Maybe things are not as certain as you think they are. Maybe it's now time to start listening to yourself and start thinking about it. Because you're a deep thinker. Oxes are thinking people. And you've got the ability to sit back and patiently, patiently wait for the right opportunity. Patiently sit there and consider all the variables and where you're at with certain elements and certain things in your life. I mean, you've moved into this white card anyway, so you're going over to the uh, to that goat there, which, um, again, it, it's moving into the white card, so that is a positive. That is a positive card, um, and it's bringing you out of that negative. Unfortunately, the sheep and the goat are the opposite to the oxen. That sheep goat is the opposite in the circle of conflict. So whereas the snake is in your affinity triangle... The goat is the opposite to you. So there is going to be um, a different approach to it. And I think you've realized this as a different. If you want to move forward, you've got to let go of certain things and take a different approach. This isn't a black sheep. This is a white sheep. So it's still positive, despite the fact that it is your opposite. But I think that it's now time for you to start acting a little bit quicker. You know, you've taken your time. You've, 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 you've spent this week being patient and withdrawn. You're moving forward now. You've upped the pace. You're starting to you're starting to learn the rules. You're starting to see where where you can where you can fit into things. You can you can find your groove almost. 
you know um time to negotiate time to time to think about uh the compromises or the uh things that you can do in order to let some stuff go so that you can get ready to move into the future and start moving forward for those long-term things that you're thinking about this is going to take patience and it's going to be so easy to lose that patience but you've got to really you got to really think less emotional stuff don't think about this emotionally don't get emotionally you need to be objective you need to be more objective and you need to see this in an ox way not a sheep way an ox way and move forward a little bit step by step in a quicker manner than you have done before sheep is a little bit more sure-footed than the ox the sheep is a little bit more nimble that sheep is a little bit more uh, flexible and and has more ability to climb and and get up that mountain and that's what you're doing you're trudging up a mountain bit by bit by bit by bit and it's going to take a lot of work and you know that because you've been thinking about the long term here you've been thinking about the long term here right there and this is now taking you up the mountain as you pursue it you're pursuing it into next week and you're moving into that time of the white dog there and that again is not a bad card for you because not only is it white but the dog and the ox can actually work very well together as long as you are moving in the same direction and that's what i see this as it's a directional thing you are moving towards your goals. You're moving towards what you want to do and achieve long term. You're looking at, at where you should put your time, where you should put your efforts. You're looking at what circles you can move in in order to make things happen. And it's not going to be attractive. It's not going to be a pretty thing. It's going to be quite messy. You know, you're going to have to you're going to have to be sort of idealistic. You're going to have to be more sort of uh, stern about things. You're going to have to be more, I don't know, determined, I guess. You're going to have to be loyal to you. And you're going to have to think outside the box when it comes to this. And that's going to be hard because you know who you are and you know what you like and you know where you want to be. And sometimes it's hard for you to take yourself off of that proven path and to go along trails unknown. But I think, I think with that dog there, it's kind of, it's showing you to be loyal to yourself and that you don't need to worry too much. Let go of expectations at this point. I think you don't expect too much. Don't, don't worry about losing things or, or you know, uh, things changing or if the chemistry isn't right or if, if you feel like you need to go in a different direction. I think all of this now is like a learning curve. It's all about um, finding your groove, as I say. You don't have to compromise who you are, but in order to fit the groove, you, I think you do feel, I do, I, I think that you feel you need to fit in a little bit better or maybe make a little bit more of an effort to be a part of the team. I think that there is some sort of, um, there's some sort of long-term goal that you want to achieve and you're going to have to come right out of your comfort zone to do so and actually be seeing things from a completely different perspective, completely the opposite of what you actually do consider a safe sort of place to think and, uh, how you deal with things that's safe to you it works for you but you've got to change that and that worries you and that's why you've got this defensive card that sort of card of protection here um and it's not negative it's positive so i do feel that there is there is positivity coming this isn't a bad thing this isn't a bad reading at all for you guys this is a very good reading despite the fact that you've got the negative karma card you've got the opposite card and you've got that defensive dog and i think one by one those cards would mean completely different things but all together I do feel like it's a build up. There's a build up to something that is in your future, something that you've been thinking about, something that you're considering, something that you're, you've been moving slowly towards bit by bit, following your intuition, following your gut feeling, following that sort of determination and effort to make it happen. And you've had to you, you, you've had to really kind of think about this because this is life changing. This is life changing stuff. This is stuff that isn't just sort of what you're going to watch on the telly tonight. This isn't just what you're going to have for dinner tomorrow. This is like life. This is life changing stuff. This is stuff that if you were to make this happen, if you were to pursue this, things are going to change for you and they're going to change long term. And you know this. That's why there's a lot to think about. There's a lot of it to consider. There's a lot of things that could go wrong. And you know that as well, because you're following the rules. You're looking at the rules, what you can and cannot do. And you know that there are some rules that if you break them or, uh, you know, if you go too close to that line, it's going to cause problems for you. And you don't need those problems in your life. You don't. You're too tactical for that. And you are tactical. You are. You can manoeuvre around these obstacles relatively easy. I think it just it's just going to take some time. 
And you've got to have that confidence. You've got to build up your own confidence before you can do that because you're walking into waters that you've never been before. You're treading in places that have never been trod on before. And as I say, you would prefer the proven path, the proven method, the signposted way. But there are no signposts here, unfortunately, and that's the way it is. Sometimes the universe just leaves you to put your own signposts up or to mark your own way. So, yeah, that's what that is, I think. But you you, you have that sure-footedness and... Uh, that sort of confidence of an ox. You're you're able to take this and and move forward with it. I think. I think that you are going to be able to. You are going to overcome whatever it is that you want to over overcome, and with that determination, you will reach to where you want to get. It's just going to be very slow and steady, and in a way that is up and down, and it may feel like you're going nowhere sometimes. But that's not stagnant to you. That's not stuck to you. That's just being patient. That's waiting. And oxes can do that. So it's relatively quite a good uh, reading, to be honest. But we'll find out. We'll find out next week. And we'll see how the cards have uh, sort of turned out for you. And how you've uh, handled it. And what's uh, what's been occurring for all you ox people next Monday when uh, we do another reading for you guys. If you've enjoyed that, please hit the subscribe button. I'll be back tomorrow with a reading for the tiger and the rabbit personalities. If you have enjoyed the video, please leave a comment. Please give us a like. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.